What's up, folks? And welcome back to the Sink of City. Yeah, that's murder. Yes, I was about right. After, after y'all know the last episode, we did the. I just made a bit when it could be suicide. So they was doing some cannibalism stuff. Taking the sick people and the mentally ill people and turning them into food, into meat, beyond canned meat. But I came home, changed clothes. Somebody got somebody tried to frame me for murder. We're back on the main mission now. Got this gangster look on. I just like the suit though. I can't even call it gangster. I just like the suit. I have to go say thank you to the. I forgot his name. But I go say thank you to him though. Don't you he, have work to do. He got me out of jail. I gotta come say hello. That scene is this though. Yeah, kill that man. Huh? Me and the dude was a me and the dude was a man. He was a gangster. What? That's me. Hallucinations going on. Oh, so I wonder what would have happened if I didn't kill him. Probably had to anyway. Hello, Mr. Carpenter. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Carpenter. Mr. Reed. Welcome. Things are busy right now, but I hope we may soon find the time to share a conversation and some wine. That's been a luxury lately. Wine or time. Regardless, I won't delay you further. We got the same I suit. I appreciate you bailing me out of jail. I was in a difficult situation. <laughs> a trifle, Charles. Like the I understand you're not off the hook yet. Milton Pierce says he saw you killing Vanderberg. I didn't kill him. I believe you. From what I know of your character, even if you and Johannes had a falling out, I wouldn't have done that. Exactly. Reed, I trust you, but the police don't. If you can't find the real culprit, there's little Edge. more I can do. That being said, the Carpenter family still has its connections in the police department. Just let my taskmaster know when you have an alibi. Uh, how are you feeling after everything that happened with Brutus? Please, take the time to talk I'd rather to not discuss that's up to do to say. But my father is upstairs, should you wish to see him. Lord. I get the feeling you knew Vanderberg. He was an old friend, a man of rare mental clarity. I met him in Europe during the Great War. He and you are among the few decent men in this city. I hope that I won't need to choose one friend over the other. You served during the Great War? Yes, one of the hapless grunts at Meuse Argonne. I'm afraid I still find it hard to talk about. I understand. What do you know about Milton Pierce? He's quite a prominent voice in political circles, though he's not afraid to play ugly. I saw his interview with the Oakmont Chronicle recently. Do you know where I can find him? He's somewhere in Reed Heights, but sorry, beyond that I can't be of much help. Oh, nobody. Nobody. Uh, thanks again, Mr. Carpenter. I should be off. Before you leave, here's a little problem solver for you. Problem. Should you run into any further difficulties, take care, Mr. Reed. I'll set aside some wine for when it's all over. Uh, some machine. Oh, we finally got it. We finally got it. Yeah, this is a problem solver. Look at it. Look at it. Dirty bullets. Man, that's gonna go through in a second. Oh. This guy sure had some blood on his hands. Literally. Is he the killer? There you go. Get my gun ready just in case. It ain't the point about him being bad. This person he must be taking his election campaign very seriously. You know, we see that blood. Those wild beasts be around. 
emptier than a banker's heart. Really? Oh. This is his practice speech. Oh, damn. From Johannes. Is he planning to become the Prince of Oakmont, or is this just some light reading? Got big ears, don't they? they got clothes. Someone got changed here in a hurry. No loot. Better for the old people. And the shape is fish familiar. Knife. I've seen similar daggers before. Yes, we have. How he doing? Good pay him a visit. Time comes, huh? Probably ever gonna see him again, though. Or basement. They definitely kept some dirty clothes here. You can see the blood splatter. Yeah, that's a lot of blood. The, the, the blood was spurting out of him. Robert, just spurting out. Oh, it's all over me. Ah, where's my Dane tie? I should have been at City Hall by now. Voters won't meet and greet themselves. Is he trying to be the Get these out of my sight, Robert. Isn't that why we have a laundry room downstairs? Time to figure this out. Wow. The, the blood was spurting out of him, Robert. Just spurting out. Oh, it's all over me. Uh, yeah. Ah, where's my Dane tie? Get oh. these out of my sight, Robert. Isn't that why we have a laundry room downstairs? Milton Pierce came home covered in blood. He ordered his butler to take his clothes downstairs and went to meet voters at City Hall. Heck of a mayor. <clears throat> downstairs, Based no on boss, past bro. experience, leaving it here was not the best idea. Right. The smell of blood can attract all sorts of unwanted visitors. Hurry up and see what I can find. Out of this basement, quick. Move down here, though. Just a little bit. Oh. Oh, stop bothering me, newcomer. Oh, there you go. Good day, Mr. Pierce. Bet you didn't expect to see me. How are you here? You should be in jail. I have good friends who bailed me out. I just friends. want to talk. Well, okay. If you wish. Yeah. Why did you claim I did it? Excuse me? Why wouldn't I? A friend of mine was killed. Why should I let that go? You saw the real killer. Tell me who it was. Want to know what I saw? I saw a bloody newcomer rush in, murder Johannes, and stroll out like it was no big deal. Like he ran out. You're certain it was a newcomer. How can you be so sure? Trust me. Oak Manor's know a newcomer when they see one. We locals can tell. Uh, you know I didn't do it. Quite the opposite, Reed. I saw your face. Or are you going to claim it wasn't yours? You seem like a rational man, Pierce. Can't we come to an arrangement? Are you attempting to bribe a politician, Mr. Reed? Yes. What makes you think I'd accept such an offer? 
I'm sorry. I must be thinking of a different Milton Pierce. But let me tell you, my beloved mother is so old and so rich. I'll miss her dearly when she's gone. Well, Wait, what? that's a non sequitur. Mr. Reed, how do I put this? I find my campaign hamstrung by a distinct lack of resources. Ah, <sighs> so it's about the money after all. I fear that all the budget pressures are affecting my cognition. If the situation were improved, perhaps I'd see things more clearly. For instance, I might suddenly realize I'd mistaken you for someone else. You could even remind me of whom. Bro. Guess I gotta well, say I will do it. If that's what it'll take, I guess I have no choice. Just down make there, sure it looks natural there. and clean. I'm just you know the carpets there cost a fortune. Actually, take this. Comes well recommended from Professor Cavendish. Put it in a drink or something. That sounds is not that boy you Your do? wish is my command. Anything else? My dearest mother Agatha is currently at her manor. Here's the address. And Reed, don't come back here after. People shouldn't see me with you. Yeah, I'll do that for you. No, I'm not. Let me find this person, mysterious person. Killer out here. For a newcomer. Marriage license. We'll be here in the house. And you see a person there with some responsible. Are you Glenn Byers? Yes. Who wow. are you? Charles Reed, P.I. The guy taking the fall for your murder. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, you do a little How like did you know. find me? Are you serious? I'm a private eye. Now don't make this any worse for yourself and answer my questions. Why did you murder Johannes Vanderberg? I had no choice. I am an honest man, sir. I have a family. My, my sweet Evelyn and Michael, her... Our son, I didn't want to do it, but they had him hostage. I, I don't even know Johan or whatever he's called. Is that really your son? You and I look rather similar, wouldn't you say? How is that possible? I... I don't know. Uh, this is the face I was born with. I'm just as confused as you are. Do you have any relatives in Boston? Not that I know of. Uh, my family is from Providence, Rhode Island. Just another of this town's oddities to add to the list. Seem like it's far away, though. Do you know who's responsible? Uh, it was a, a gang. I, uh, I'd never seen voices. any of them before. Uh, this guy gave me a gun. Uh, uh, Will, maybe. Uh, but I, I don't know if he was anyone special. That's all I know. I swear. Tell me exactly how it all happened. Uh, they broke into our house while I was out. I, I came home and found the broken door. Uh, there were signs of a struggle, but my family... Poor Evelyn. They were gone. So he pretty much you never forced. thought to report their abduction. Why not get help from the police? I wanted to call the coppers. I did, but they sent... They sent me... Oh, drunk, I can't. It's still on the table. I have no guts to touch it. I'll need to inspect the place where it happened. If you have to, it's next door. I locked it so no one can get in. And so I don't have to look at it again. Well. Okay, let's say I believe you. You've done the deed, so where are your wife and son now? I don't know. The gang leader promised they'd be released, but they haven't returned. Please, I realize I'm in no position to ask, but... Can we make a deal? Depends on the offer. I am guilty. I took a life, but you have shouldered the blame. I will turn myself into the police and make this right. When I hand over the weapon, they will have to believe me, but I can't do it until I know my family is safe. Right. So I rescue your family to save my own skin. In a nutshell, yes. 
good old oak my uh so what's your answer give and take all right i'll do it i don't like it but i'll do it thank you i'm overall a nice You're person a better man oh, than I, I, mr reese I'm sorry that I put you in this position, but I will make it right. Oh, I hope promise. so. Well, let me go around here. Gathering evidence, then, huh? Or clues, I should say. There used to be some writing here, but it's been washed off. At least partially. Bidget. Still has a wedding ring on. What kind of monster does that? There's a note in the envelope. Of course there's a note. And some note. Old but clean and shiny. That's definitely been taken good care of. Oh, he's got something about that room. This door will be hard to fix. Go this way, huh? Seems like everywhere I go lately, I find blood. Grape silk and lace. Must have been a pretty dress before it was torn. Why would you get married in this town? It's balls. Some of the boards look fresh. No dust. That isn't his real dad. More like a stepdad. Who in hell would think to use a spade as a weapon? Oh, wait a minute. Same. Is that it? Catch up to us when you're done. And don't waste any time rescuing Martin. He's expendable. Dirty. This heart here. Don't you dare touch my mom. You hear no slaps, though. Open this door or I'll kick it down. I think I'm starting to get the picture. Open this door or I'll kick it down. This really do. Don't you dare touch my mom. Catch up to us when you're done. And don't waste any time rescuing Martin. He's expendable. A gang broke in and kidnapped a mother and son. The latter fought back, knocking an attacker through the floor. And the rest of the assailants left with the hostages. So somebody should be down the stairs. Hopefully still alive, though. Let's hope. How do I get into the room beneath us? Why? The kitchen? Uh, it's locked. Just... Give me the key. Fine. Oh. Fine. Take it. I'll help you. I'll get you going. Out. I was testing the gun, but I'm not going to waste on bullets like that. Yeah, I'll do it. Real. Real. Somebody got a rug. Ace. Slow down. Go on 
seen something. Basement. Or they want some, don't they? They're trying to give them some food. Look at this thing. Hey, hold on, hold on. I got some for you. Shotgun. I got some for you. Look. It's like certain weapons need to be used for certain things. What is this? What did y'all see? Is that a new one? That thing go. Was that a new monster? Congratulations on your wedding from Sister Peg. That's a heck of a wedding, huh? Hideout is a 